Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Heather. I see you there. <laughs> I have my lovely sister Josie joining us today. She's a little injured, so she'll be modifying some of the poses if necessary. So if you find something difficult, look to her, okay? Um, all right, so today's class is slow mo yoga, slow motion yoga. And we did some slow yoga last week and I enjoyed it so much, I wanted to do it again today. And slow motion yoga has some benefits. Not only is it grounding when we feel like we're spinning out of control, but it helps us to work on our balance. It allows us to do our poses in safe alignment. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system because everything's so slow and we're breathing slowly. It puts us into that rest and digest state. That's the state that we're looking for. We're looking for a little relief. This is how we get it, moving slowly. When everything's going so fast, we need to just slow down. It helps to improve our concentration. And as yogis, we're always looking to take our yoga off the mat into the world. So this cultivates the slowness to allow our response to things to not be knee jerk reactions. You know, our ego allows us knee jerk reactions and we think, look at us go, get in the right words out at the right time. <laughs> you know? But it has ramifications that cause us guilt and suffering. So if we start to cultivate this ability to lengthen our response time, we're going to be happier on and off the mat. So let's come to the mat, but we're going to begin by standing. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, hold on, technical issues. See if that comes through. Yay. All right, so feet. Feet is the basis of everything, the root of everything. Let's just step one foot forward. And I want you to roll onto the ball of the foot and roll so you feel the shin. Roll down and push. Let's bend the knees and sink. Inhale, come up. Roll to the ball of the feet. Feel for your shin muscles. Come down. Squat. Push into your back heel. Inhale, come up. One more time. Roll. Now pick up that foot and point. Put the foot down, roll through the foot, come down onto the heels, but really feel the back heel. Inhale, come up, roll, pick up the foot, point. Really extend all the top muscles of the leg. Down, bend, come up, and let's change. Step the other foot forward. Roll up onto the ball of the foot. Push your knee forward, let move your whole body forward to feel the front of the shin, the top of the foot. Slowly roll down, bend the knees, sit on your back heel. Inhale, come up, roll up. Down, squat. Up, roll, and now we'll pick up and point. And you can put your arms out to the side for balance. Down. Squat. Pick up. Down. Squat. Now let's bring that back foot forward. I'm just going to back up. Forward, put the heel on the ground, tip your hips forward. Roll the baby toe out to the side. And in. Slowly opening up the leg. Come back to center. Let's step that back foot a little further back. Tip your chest forward, push into that back heel. And you'll really feel the lengthening of the long muscle of your calf. Inhale, roll up, pick up your knee. Extend that foot down, tip your waist forward, rolling the toes in and out.
And now just shift your weight forward. We'll take that back foot back. So you've got a nice long stance. Push into the heel, shift your torso forward. <laughs> Roll up and step your feet together. And just separate your feet a little more on hips distance apart and circle out your knee. Change direction. Other foot. Use your knee to circle. Change direction. Good. Feet together. Open the palms. Widen your collarbones, root down into the earth, breath in through the nose, exhale a ha breath out, close your eyes, breathe in through the nose, exhale ha. Once more. Root through the feet. Bring your hands in front. Slowly lift your hands up the center line of the body. Picking up that energy, send it up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Two more. Bend the knees if you need to on the way down. One more lift. Exhale, hold. Wrap your hands behind your calves and let your head be heavy. Shift the weight into the balls of the feet if you can. Nodding your head no. And yes. Let the head just hang towards the earth, pulling the spine down. Bend your knees. Hands come to the earth, come to hands and knees, and then into hero's pose. So you're on your heels, stretching out the front of the shins, hands on the knees, close your eyes, breathe into your nose, pinch off the back of the throat, engage Uddiyana Bandha, exhale through the nose. Two more. Last one. Slowly move to walk your hands under your shoulders. Spread your fingers, middle finger in the center. Knees under the hips. Inhale into cat, lifting the back of your heart towards the ceiling, moving very slowly. On the exhale, coming down for five into cow. Four, three, two, one. Curl the tailbone to the ceiling, look up. Inhale, holding here. Exhale, back to cat. One, two, three, four, five. Hold for five and cat. Exhaling, take five to come down. Inhale, looking up for five. 
five. Exhale, lifting into cat. Holding cat. Exhale to neutral. Swing your feet to the right and look over to your feet. Inhale, center. Feet move to the left. Look to your feet. Inhale to center. Exhale to child's pose. Inhale to tabletop. On the exhale, slowly lift your right hand to the ceiling. Look up to the right hand. Inhale, threading the needle, coming down for five. Resting your right shoulder on the mat. Inhale, right hand comes back to the ceiling, moving slowly like through water. <clears throat> Exhale, return right hand to floor. Inhale, left hand up. Coming down for five to thread under the right arm. Breathing in for five. Slowly return to the sky. Exhale the hands back down, placing them under the shoulders. Flat back, inhale. On an exhale, take your right foot and see if you can start to slide it up towards two o'clock. Can you walk your hands a little more forward? Flex the foot, flexing the toes towards your knee. Let your hips start to sink towards the earth, the elbows bend. Inhale, straightening the elbows. Exhale, bending. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Bring the foot over to three o'clock. Can you plant the foot on the ground? Walk your hands, they're still forward. Pull your hips slowly back, lengthening from fingertips through shoulder blades to hips. Feel this in your inner right groin. Inhale, shifting your weight forward. Exhale, sending it back. Again, inhale, shift your weight forward like a plank. Exhale, bring your buttocks back towards your foot. Come to neutral, walk your hands back under your shoulders, you're on your fingertips. Picking up your right arm for a twist. Inhale. Exhale, threading, threading the arm through the left. How far down can you get? Inhale to sky. Exhale, put your right hand on your right thigh. Let's pick up the left hand and come into gate pose. Pick up your toes so your, your sole of your foot faces away from you. Side bend. Inhale, come up. Do you have room to get your left hand onto the earth and bring your right arm over the ear? Inhale, back to gate pose. 
exhale inhale bring your hands to the ceiling exhale hands to the earth take your right foot and swing it behind crossing crossing it all the way over behind and shift your weight back for a curtsy Inhale back to center, bring the knees together, curl your toes under, back into hero's pose, also known as thunderbolt pose. You can put a cushion under your hips, take a breath in, exhale, ha. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, lengthen the sides of the neck, inhale. You may remove the curl from under your toes and flatten them. Take one more breath. Bring your hands back under the shoulders, flatten your toes, and slide your left foot up to 11 or 10 o'clock. Walk your hands forward just a little bit. See about bending your elbows for a little, what's this thing called when you do this? No, like, yeah, it is like lizard. Push up. It's such a simple word, I couldn't come up with it. <laughs> Inhale up. Last time coming down. Inhale up. Slide your foot back to um, nine o'clock. Left hand on the leg. We'll bring your right arm up to the ceiling. Toes are flexed. Side bend into gate pose. I think we actually had the sole of the foot on the ground. So push the outside edge of the foot into the earth. Inhale. Right hand to earth. Left arm comes up over ear. Now root into the outside edge of the foot. And lengthen up to your fingertips. Inhale, both arms overhead. No, I think we did, we did this one more time. Yes. Right arm to ceiling, left arm up. Exhale, walk your hands in front. Then pull your hips back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, come back. One more time, forward. Back. Let's lift the left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, coming down to thread under the right arm. Inhale, left arm back to the sky. Exhale, bring your hand back to the earth. Walk your hands so they're under the shoulders. Take your left foot and swing it behind and bring it over for curtsy, dropping your elbows to the mat. Inhale, center. Feet together knees wide apart and you can put your elbows on blocks or just bring your elbows to the earth palms together and drop your head between the arms so your prayer goes straight to the sky Drawing your hips towards your heels. One more breath. 
slowly release the hands lift the head bring your forearms onto the mat and just shift your hips forward and back slowly forward and back inhale coming back up straighten your legs bring your knees hips distance apart curl your toes under and slowly walk the hands back to the knees coming up on your knees bring your hands to your low back inhale picking up your chest pushing your hips forward exhale slowly come back up so you may do this again or release your arms windmill your right arm slowly up bringing it to your right heel left arm lifts reaches to the wall behind you inhale come up Hand, both hands on the low back again pressing hips forward Camel, Ustrasana, inhale up. Windmill, left arm up and over, bringing the hands to the heel, or you'll do the same thing with both hands on your low back. Picking up your heart, pushing your hip bones forward, right arm comes up and back. Inhale, center, exhale, back to child's pose, arms come forward. Walk your fingertips forward, release your head down to the earth. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. One more. On the exhale, roll up into cat, keeping the hands right where they are. Then walk your hands under your shoulders and extend your right leg out, toes on the ground. Mm -hmm. Slowly pick up your foot, point the toes. Lift as high as you can. Release back down to the earth. Inhale, float up. Point the toes. Squeeze at the top. Exhale, coming down. One more time. Pick up. Bring the knee out to the side. And make little circles with your knee. So you can have the knee closer to the earth or higher up towards the ceiling. Move within your range of ease. Reverse your circles. Bring the knees back down. Shift back into hero's pose. Sorry, child's pose. Breath in. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. Exhale back to hands and knees. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Extend left leg back, toes on the ground. Push through the heel. As you push through the heel, you're going to feel this in the calf muscles and feel it all the way up to the glutes. Make sure your hips are parallel. So you feel through the back of the leg. Now point the toes and lift, squeeze at the top. Coming slowly back down. Five to come up. Squeeze at the top. Five to come down. Again, up. Squeeze and down. 
Swing the leg over to the left. We'll make three circles one way. Three circles the other way. Plant the knees on the ground. Feet together, knees wide. Walk the hands forward. Child's pose. Stretch from fingertips to hips. Walk your hands over to the right. Pull your hips to the left. Inhale, finger center. Exhale, walk the hands to the left. Slowly pull your hips to the right. Inhale, hands back to center. Exhale, roll up into cat. Walk your feet as wide as the mat knees as wide as the mat and slowly press back for frog pose and inhale forward so we're moving in and out of frog pose so i'm on the tops of my feet drop the elbows to the earth Inhale, shift your heart between your forearms. Curl your tailbone to the ceiling. Then exhale, let the hips move back towards the end of your mat. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, back. Again. Back, bring your toes together as you move back. Inhale, just pick up your back into cat without moving your hands. Exhale, come down to child's pose. Chin to chest, inhale into cat. Exhale to child. Elbows on the ground. Let's slowly scoot our whole body forward onto the mat. Straightening up the legs, bringing them together. Rock from hip to hip. Hip bone to hip bone. Slide your right knee up the mat. Push your inner right knee into the earth. Release, change. Left knee comes up to nine o'clock, foot is flexed. Push the inner knee into the earth. Legs together. Roll over onto your left side. And we'll bring the right arm up and over behind. And bring your left knee, no, your right knee, up to your left hand. Yeah, so if Josie can't get it, <laughs> so you're bringing this knee up to your left hand and put your left hand on your knee. So your right arm is out to the right. Your left hand goes on top of your knee that's closest to it. Is that making sense, everybody? Yeah, it's, it's pretzel. You got it. Looks good, Patricia. Looks good, Sonia. Good. Take another breath. And on the exhale, let's roll over onto our back. Just as the transition, bring your knees into your chest. Release the knees part way. Inhale. Exhale, draw them in deeper. Feel for your low back. One more time, release part way. Pulling in. Toes to the earth. Roll over onto your right side. 
So let's bring the right hand to the right and the left hand to the left. You're looking to the left and you'll extend the left leg, that's the one on top, and bring that knee up to your right hand. Put your right hand on the knee, start to push the knee into the earth as you rotate to the left. Head and chest rotates to the left. Feel the twist through your waistline. One more breath. Exhale, rolling over onto our belly again. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Reach back, grab your right ankle, grab your left ankle. Point the toes to the ceiling. Releasing your head forward, we're going to slide the hands up to feet and draw the heels towards the glutes. Is that accessible to everybody? If not, do it one at a time. Grab one ankle, draw the heel to your butt. Nice modification, Patricia, lying on your side. Love it. If you're doing one leg, please change now. Or roll onto your other side. Pick your knees up off the ground if you're still on your front body. Slowly release, arms, elbows, under, shoulders, sphinx pose. Spread your fingers, push down through your elbows, pick up your chest. Now let's cross right foot over left ankle and look to the left. Keep pushing the elbows into the earth, picking your heart up to the ceiling, twisting your chin to the left. Feel what's going on with this twist. So the thing about moving slowly is we're getting deep into the fascia, and this becomes a fascial maneuver by adding this slow twist. The chin slowly comes back to center. Release that top leg. Push down through the elbows, lifting your chest. Let's place left ankle on top of right. Pick up your heart and start to slowly turn your chin. Turn to center, undo the feet, extend your arms forward, release all the way down. Rest on your left facial cheek. If you have glasses, you can support your cheek with your left forearm. Back to center. Point your left toes, bend your left knee. Can you reach around with your right hand and grab the top of your left foot? So we're crossing. You can do it on your side as well. Pick up your chest, pick up your knee. And if you're on your side, You'd be on your right hand side. Everybody, if you're on your belly, take this over to the right. Bring your foot over to the right. So you're lying on the right side body. Pull the foot towards your head. Bring your head towards the foot. breath. 
slowly come back to center, release the legs, rock hip to hip. Now bend your right knee, reach back with the left hand, pick up your knee, bring your head towards your foot, foot towards your head. Roll over onto the left side of your body, drawing the foot towards your head, head towards your foot. Slowly release, pressing up. Come over onto your glutes. Crossing right foot in front of left. Put your hands on your knees and just shimmy your body to the left and then to the right. Here's moving the rib cage to the left, rib cage to the right and then start to slowly circle. Feel that your head is the center and we're taking the body and spinning it around 360 degrees. Come to center, and let's take a twist. Left hand to right knee, right hand comes behind. Now keep your torso facing forward. Inhale, draw up. Pull your navel to your spine and begin to twist from your left hip bone. Take all your digestive organs towards the right. Feel the squeeze into the organs as we move the left lung to the right. The back of the throat, the back of the brain. Inhale, release part way. Exhale, spinning from left hip bone, spiral up the body. Release part way. Exhale, deepen last time. Slowly inhale back to center. Keep your left hand on your front knee. Right arm comes up and over for a side bend. Hold on to that knee. Let yourself pull the knee to deepen the stretch. Inhale, float up. Exhale, fingertips behind on the earth. Pick up your heart. Back to neutral. Put the left foot in front now. Side with the ribs. And maybe take your time and really as you push down through the knee gently, feel what's happening as you lengthen the erector spinae either side of the spine. One more side. And then we'll take this counterclockwise, unless you did counter last time. Feel like you are, your, your tailbone is a pestle in a mortar bowl, and the tailbone is grinding the herbs into the earth, as if you had herbs in your pestle. And hopefully you know what a mortar and pestle is. <laughs> I think we're, most of us should know what that is. Slow down your circles. Really feel the full circumference. Close your eyes. Feel into it. Come to neutral, inhale, lift your spine. Right hand comes to left knee, left hand comes behind, exhale. Inhale, lift up through the spine. Engage Uddiyana Bandha, pull navel to spine, and begin to turn your right hip bone to the left. 
spiraling through your digestive organs, through your lungs, through the back of the neck, back of the skull. Inhale, release part way. Exhale, deepen. Again. Torso returns to the front. Right hand remains on left knee. So we can take a side bend to the right. Inhale, come up. Both arms up. Big imaginary ball in our arms. Slow roll forward. Pull the ball into the chest. Lift the ball up to the sky. Release it to the sky. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Step your feet onto the earth. Is it comfortable? If it's not comfortable, I just want you to pick up your heart towards the ceiling. And if that's okay, maybe you can check out coming up into table, spreading your fingers wide, middle finger center. Feel like you have equal pressure on the hands, equal pressure in the feet. Push into the arches of the feet to lift higher. And you may drop your head to look behind or keep looking down the front of the body. Inhale, slowly coming down. Exhale, glutes to earth, extending the legs, flex the feet, Dandasana, arms overhead, Uttita Dandasana. Exhale, pull your navel to spine as you reach forward across the room and move until your back wants to round. Once it wants to round, you stop and hold. If you can, grab onto your calves or your feet, pull back into your shoulder blades as you lengthen the crown of the head. This is a perfect place for using a strap. If you're too tight, your back wants to round, use your strap, wrap around your feet. Lengthen your head towards your feet. And turn your chin to the left. Inhale, center. Chin to the right. Inhale, center. Using a strap or your hands, hold on to just your right foot, pick up your knee. We're going to draw the knee as far back as you can. Keep flexing that left foot. Inhale, bring it forward, lengthen your leg. Maybe you're holding onto your calf. Inhale, look up, point the toes. On the exhale, draw your head and leg towards each other. Inhale, flex the toes, lift your heart, look to the ceiling. Exhale, point the toes, draw head to leg, leg to head. Inhale, flex, lift your chin to the sky. Last time, let's point the toes, head to leg. Slowly bend the knee and bring your right heel into your left hip crease. Hmm? And cross the other leg. Let's just roll forward. If that's not doable, just roll forward with your heel, your left leg extended and the heel and the hip. Walk your hands over to the right. Hands come back to center. Flex your right foot, pick up the leg, draw the leg towards your heart. Rock your baby very slowly. You don't want to rattle that baby's brain. Nice and slow. And slowly extend. We'll pick up one more time. Point the toes, release to the earth. Feet flex, inhale, arms back up. Exhale, forward fold, using your strap if you can't grab your feet. Inhale, pick up your chest, your head. 
draw your shoulder blades down to the hips. Exhale, forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Rolling up. Last time, rolling down. Roll up. And we'll grab onto the left foot with both hands, drawing the knee back beside your rib cage, if that's in your range of motion. Extend the leg up, grab onto your calf or the thigh, or use a strap. Flex, point, flex, point, inhale. Exhale, draw the pointed leg up towards your head, your head towards the leg. Flex, lift your heart. Exhale, draw them together, point the toes. Flex, lift your heart. Last time, leg and head together. Come back to center. Crossing the leg over, so heel comes into your right hip crease. There's resting. You can keep your right leg extended or cross. Walk your hands forward. Breathe into your mid back. Walk your hands to the left. Pull down into your right sit bones. Walk your hands center, inhale, rolling up. Hands come behind, pick up your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Slowly release, coming down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest again, rocking a little left to right. Arms to three o'clock and nine o'clock. And drop your knees over to the right, look to the left. Use your right hand to press the thighs into the earth. Extend the top leg, pointing the toes. Keep looking left. Place the legs together again. Both hands on the earth. Rotate knees back to center, inhale, exhale, knees to the left. Left hand on top of thighs, rotate your head to look to the right. Extend your right leg, point your toes. Draw your legs together again. Rolling over onto your back. Cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh. Press your right thigh away from you. Now pick up the legs just as they are. Bring them towards your chest and rock a little left to right. Plant the left foot on the ground. Grab onto your left foot with your left, or the hand, the foot that's on top with your left hand, knee and hand, right hand together. Draw the leg up towards your chest. Then come into half happy baby. Right hand on the outside of the foot. Draw the knee down towards the earth. Then cross the leg, point the toes and try to touch the earth on the left side of your body. Come back to half happy baby, flex the foot. Point the toes, cross the body, see if you can touch the earth. Last time, half happy baby. Point the toes, touch the earth. Come back to center, release the foot, extend the right leg out, extend the left leg out. Let's just feel the difference. 
Place your hands on your hip bones. Breath in. Exhale, slide your right foot up the mat. Cross your right ankle on top of the right leg. Did I say right ankle? Left ankle on top of right leg. Pick up the legs, draw them into your chest. Rock a little right to left. Place the right foot on the ground. Half happy baby on the left hand side, drawing the knee towards the earth. Point the toes, crossing over the body, try to touch the earth. And I'm using my right hand to hold onto the shin to draw the leg deeper down. Back to half happy baby, flex the foot. Point, guide the leg over to the right with your right hand. Last time, half happy baby. Toes to right. Place the feet on the ground. Bring your knees to your chest. Cobbler's pose in the air. Grab your ankles. Press your inner thighs open with your elbows. Rock a little left to right. Just a little. We're getting into the really deep muscles in the groin. Bring your knees together, feet on the ground and as wide as your mat, arms to the side, windshield wipers nice and slow. So five counts to change. Five counts to rest. Take your head opposite of your knees. Last time, windshield wiper. Back to center. Walk your feet, hips distance, slide your right foot behind your left heel. Drop the right knee to the earth. Pick up your left heel, planting the heel on top of your right leg and grab a block. We'll place that block under the right thigh so the left knee drops out to the side. Is that comfortable? Adjust your shoulder blade so it's comfortable. Drop into your breath. breath. On the exhale, slide your left foot down. Planting both feet on the mat, pick up your block, adjust your tailbone, draw the flesh down towards your heels. And now we'll slide the left foot behind the right heel, dropping your left knee to the earth. Picking up your right heel, placing on top of your left thigh and drop your right knee out to the right. Prop with your block under your left thigh. Deepen your breath. This double log pose reclined.
One more breath. Exhale, slide the right foot down the leg to the mat. Step both feet onto the mat. Walk the right foot off of the mat. Drop your right knee into the center line of the mat. You can stay here or pick up your left heel, place it on top of your right thigh. Block props under left thigh as we drop both knees to the left. Deepen your breath. Slowly release that left foot. Gently glide the right foot back to the edge of the mat. Now let's make the left or the right foot line up with your right glute. Walk your left foot off of the mat, then drop the left knee into the center line. You'll feel the internal rotation of your left thigh. This might be enough for you. Or can you pick up your right heel, place it on the left leg, and prop your right thigh so both knees now drop to the right. If it's too much weight on your left knee, please remove the right foot and put it back on the ground. Breathe into your low back. One more breath. Slowly release that top foot. Slide the left foot back to center. Place the block between your knees. Heels and big toes glued together, arms to the side. Squeeze the block. Let's actually turn the block wide so it's the widest width. Now squeeze the block with your knees and keep that squeeze. Rock your knees to the left, look right. Rock your knees to the right, look left. And this is the only time we're going to move quickly. Let's just look at the ceiling and rock left to right as you squeeze. Squeezing opens up the pelvis and allows the sacrum to Realign into the pelvis. All right, that's good enough. Come back to center. Make the block narrow. Heels, big toes, touching. Squeeze the block with your inner knees. Again, looking at the ceiling, let's rock. Left to right, rather quickly. You might hear a pop, and that's, a, that's not a bad thing. That feels good for me. And slow it down, come to center, release the block. There's one last thing we need to do. Slowly roll to your side and we'll roll up. Press your hands into your outer thighs and really push your legs into your hands as you resist. Then let them spring open. Again, squeeze as tight as you can, resist open and last time squeeze release release and now hands behind the knees we slowly roll down find your prop to place under your thighs now's a good time to cover up if it's cool let your baby toes drop out to the side Can you 
lift your pelvic floor, activate the muscles of your pelvic floor, and squeeze your hip bones to the center line. And now activate all your abdominal muscles from the waist to the center line. Feel this tightening, breathe in. Exhale, slowly, slowly release. Completely relax. Two more times. Pelvic floor lifts to navel. Squeeze hip bones to center line. Squeeze side waist to your navel. Feel all your abdominal muscles active. Put your fingers, put your thumbs on your abdomen. Push down, you'll feel the muscles engaged. Now slowly release. Feel the muscles under your thumbs and fingers relax. One last time. Lift the pelvic floor towards your navel. Squeeze the hip bones towards your navel. Squeeze the waistline towards your navel. Squeeze your glutes. Breath in. Slowly release. Baby toes are dropped out to the side. Arms 45 degrees away from the body, palms turned up. Breath in through the nose. Ha breath out the mouth. Soften your face. Breath in through the nose. Long, ha breath out the mouth. Feel the back body relaxing. Again, breathe in. Exhale out the front body. Relax. Take one more breath in as if you're filling up your body like a balloon. Hold the breath in the balloon and slowly release the air as it comes out of the head, out of the throat, out of the chest, out of the abdomen, the back, the hips, the thighs, the calves, the feet, the arms empty. Become aware of a pulsation behind the eyes. Feel that pulsation in the center of your brain. Let the pulse slow down. Breathe into the brain, into the entire space inside of your skull. Let the energy swirl in your skull. Exhale, drop through the back of the head, relax. Squeeze your face together, make it tight. Breathe in. On a count of five, slowly release, relax. Release the back of the head into the earth. Release the inner eardrums into the earth. Flutter your eyelids, relax the eyes, soften your jaw, soften the base of your ears where they attach to your skull,
Feel the flesh of the skull sink into the mat. Slide your awareness down into the cervical vertebra of the back of the neck. Breathe in. Soften each vertebra down into the earth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertebra in the cervical spine. Soften your throat. Soften down the front of the throat to your collarbone. Breathe in. As you exhale, relax the collarbones out across the clavicle to your shoulders. Sink your shoulders, your clavicle into your upper back. Breathe in. Hold that energy, swirl it behind your shoulder blades. Exhale, release the shoulder blades, all the muscles and tissues in your upper back. Breathe into your upper chest, swell your upper chest. Hold the breath, swirl it in your lungs, in your upper chest. Exhale slowly, let your lungs empty. We're moving the oxygen and the nitric oxide deep into the body. Breathe into the space below your sternum, between your sternum and your navel. Fill your upper abdomen with breath. Hold, let it swirl. Exhale, release into your mid-back. Allow a suction cup from the earth to come up into your mid-back and make it big enough it can cover your mid-back and your low back. Breathe into the suction cup. Hold the breath, let it swirl mid and low back. And as you exhale, feel the suction cup begin to pull Pull the flesh down to the earth. It's stretching the flesh of the mid, the low back. Just breathe and visualize the suction cup pulling out tension, pulling out angst, pulling out rotted thoughts. Breathe in and feel, imagine the sensation pulling down, down, down. Let the suction cup continue to pull as we breathe below the navel. Breathe in, swell the lower abdomen. Hold the energy, let it swirl the low belly. Exhale, send it down into the earth. Let all that you have internalized, all that was hard to digest emotionally, mentally, physically, let the suction cup Pull the undigestible morsel out of your body. 
ho, ho, ho. And see that there's a tube, a funnel from that suction cup, and it's pulling all the dark soot out of your body, all that is not of the light, all that is heavy and wasteful of our energy pulls out and is eliminated through this tube and transmuted and returned to the earth. Allow your pelvic floor to relax. Your buttocks relax. Your right thigh becomes heavy. Your right knee and calf heavy. The right ankle, heel, and foot heavy. Breathe in. Relax your right leg, your torso, your neck and head. Feel that the arms and left leg are totally different than the relaxed right leg, torso and head. Exhale into your left buttock muscles. Relax. Inhale, slow and deep into your left thigh. Exhale into the knee, the calf, the shin. Breathe in. Exhale into your left heel foot and toe. Surrender your left leg. Feel that your whole body except your left arm is relaxed and your right arm. Let's breathe into both shoulders. Allow a rush of energy to flow down the arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the hands. Relax. Take a full breath into your entire body. Exhale, let go. Thank you. 
Take a breath in. Feel the lightness of your body as you exhale. Put your awareness in the palms of your hand. And slowly wiggle your fingers around the palm of the hands. Make a fist and roll the fist into your inner wrist. Bring the fist to your biceps. Lift the elbows to the ceiling. Squeeze the elbows together. And float the hands to the ceiling. Stretch the toes. Reach the arms overhead. Reaching arms, reaching legs. Reach just right leg, right arm. Then change. Reach left leg, left arm. Release. Draw your knees back into your chest. Circle your ankles. Change directions. Rock a little left to right. And then bring yourself over to one side. And let's slowly roll up. So we just completed a yoga nidra. They use guided visualization. And they say that that's as good as a nap. So bring your palms together at your heart. Take a breath in. Exhale, ha. Let's complete this with one om and the three part syllables of a, o, m. Breathing in. May peace be with you as you take your yoga off the mat into the world. Namaste. Well, thanks, Joe. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I won't be here next week. Sorry. <laughs> I'll post a little video, okay? Okay. <sighs> Take care, everyone. Love you lots. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. <laughs>